Welcome back guys! In this project I'm going to get my batteries installed. So first I need to find a place to do it and it will be here. Actually it will be here. So as you can see here behind me I have a wall and against this wall is where the batteries are going to be stored. And for you that don't know, this is the second floor of my garage. So if I do like this, you'll see the camera bouncing around, and that's because we are on the second floor. The batteries I am going to install here will weigh somewhere, I'm guessing, up to 800 kilos. Yes, you heard right, 800 kilos. That means I cannot install the battery directly on the floor. Uh, at least not if I want the floor to stay flat and don't go bowing on me. But the thing is the wall here are held up by these sturdy pillars that um, will easily be able to cope with this weight. And so does this beam up here. So what I'm going to do is actually hang the shelves up and be used and supported by the beams here. So let's go down and I will show you on the drawing on what I'm talking about. So when building my power shelf you need to consider a couple of things because the battery is rather heavy. First of all the batteries in question that I have weigh around 18 kilo. And I do have somewhere around 48 batteries. And that roughly 870 kilo of weight. That is a lot. So the, w the shelf I'm building here is actually a shelf that is hanging on the w wall. It's not actually standing on the floor because the floor does not have good enough um, st structure to actually be able to keep it up. So basically I have the wall here and the thing about this wall is that there is a large, it's a huge post in one of the ends and the other one I'm filling in with 2x6. So that's rather hefty. The floor itself is sitting roughly around like that with posts straight over. So they are not that hefty. Uh, the shelf itself, this is the first floor and then I have the second the third and the fourth. So basically how do you get them to hang like you should? I'm actually going down with something that holds this up and it's attached to this one here and to this one here and those are attached to that to hold it up and then I have posts from that one and that one to hold the two most, uh, the top ones up as well. And then of course these shelves are all attached to this part here. So basically I have roughly 870 kilo total going down. That means I will be having roughly 450 kilo in this corner and 450 kilo in this corner. But that's not really true because it's split among all these shelves. So let's say we have roughly uh, 900, 450, 225 kilo per shelf. That's the rough weight. That means we have 125 in each end here. And the thing with this shelf is that if we take one shelf like this and lay it out, we have one of the colors here hanging up, then we have one here and we have one in the middle. So we actually have that weight 125 split among three. So let's say we have 50 kilo in each of those. That's not a lot of weight left to actually be holding up. We have 50 kilo there, there, there and there. So we have roughly 200 kilos in one of the ends. What's good to know about this structure here is that even though we are pulling the weight upwards in that direction or whatever you call it, we will also get an equal force going in this direction here pushing this in 
and it wants to lever this out. So when doing this kind of shelf system you need to understand that this back here need to be able to cope with the rotating force. In my case this is rather thick so I know that this will cope with it without a problem. I also added on the side here a big plate that covers this whole part here and that one will actually make rigidity in every direction. Every one of those three would be able to cope with roughly 350 kilos each and that's not a big problem at all. Worth noting as well is that every shelf here that you can see consists of two times four inch um, wood and that's more than enough. On top of that structure I have a, a board that is roughly 26 millimeter thick. So basically this board on top here will be able to withstand the weight as well. I'm sorry for the low light here and that's because we are in the attic and I don't have much of a window or light inside. Uh, so it will be a little bit dark and hopefully I will get some lights later on. But basically I need roughly 1 meter and 30 centimeters wide uh, to actually be able to store the batteries. But at the same time this is the end here, down here I have the inverter so that's where I'm actually going down with the cables. So I want to be able to save some space here for connecting everything up. And if we take a closer look at this space here, you will see that I have this big fan on this side. And that's for my paint booth. Uh, so I will not be able to go to the corner, so I need to stick it off here. And the fact that we have minus on the winter, I also need this space to be isolated. And the plan is actually to isolate this whole attic from heat or cold or whatever you want to see it. So basically I am going to build a little room here for the batteries. So we will now start and first of all we need to make sure that the wall behind is um, isolated from everything and we need to put up one beam there and another beam here that will support everything and will be held by this. So guys, I basically went a little bit ahead, and as you can see, I have some sort of a wall here. It is isolated on the back side, as you can see here. And I have been using this type of um, paper sheet that is both wind and water resistant on the back. And this is just merely to have a surface to mount against. I still have the pillars here and they will be carrying most of the weight up. Um, I'm just about to insert the shelves here now and when I have all this together I will actually continue to fix the wall around because as you can see here this whole area is totally open and I will get it together to this level here where I have the door and I climb up so there will basically be a wall all the way to the other side because on top of this here you cannot really walk because I do not have enough of material to hold it all up and to have stuff there but this area where yeah, tons of stuff are we have enough of pillars underneath the floor and that should be good enough. So let me show you the rest I have done. So here you can see one of the frames. I made three of those, three shelves. Um, and underneath here you have the thicker one that's two by fours and that one is made out of two by three. And on top of this I will be having this rather thick material. They are like 26 millimeter. And there will be roughly 200 kilo of batteries on each shelf. So that should not be a problem, I hope at least. Um, to hold everything up, I made those three here. And that have a flat in the one of the ends and a bend in one of the other ends. 
welded together and this should be easily hold 200 kilos each um, since they are sharing the load of all the three shelves itself. And I will conclude this as the first episode of this build series, or at least where you can tag along where I build this shelf. Uh, unfortunately I have not much of a detail in when it comes to actually building it, so, but that's because I don't really have the time to do it now. Uh, but at the same time I still want you to follow along what I am doing. So basically what you can see here is a 12 volt battery. Uh, this is the type that I will be using on this shelf. It will be a little bit tricky to actually get in here and tie them together, but there are enough space to do it. And at the same time, I do not want to build it too high air so I can still get to it. Um, there are still some parts missing, especially in that end. And I need some more screws to hold this side along here as well. Otherwise it may tip over. Um, as you can see, I have this rod in the middle here. And that will be the main strength to keep it in, and I will be having one on the other side there as well. Thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you in the next episode when I continue on this build. That will be a little bit more about installing the batteries, uh, hopefully. Uh, what I'm going to do now is finish this off, uh, get some paint on it, and hopefully it's time to get the batteries up. Thank you guys, bye.